okay welcome back and uh, in this video what we'll start doing is we'll now focus on the mac layer so in the mac layer uh, 10th experiment we are supposed to use uh, wi-fi and then again we are supposed to change it and use uh, bluetooth or wireless personal area network protocol so we are supposed to repeat the experiment with these two in fact uh, 10th and 11th are related so i'll just move to the 11th one so 11th one also you can see that the mac layer uh, compare it with wi-fi versus uh, using a sensor mac in the mac layer fine and the network scenario will remain the same as we have been using previously for the wireless uh, lan in fact if we observe uh, all the previous uh, experiments that we did that is for uh, using routing protocols of AODV, DSDV, and DSR. We had been using wireless LAN only. In the MAC layer, we had been using 802.11. So, there is nothing new that we need to do for 802.11. Just for completeness, uh, sake of complete, uh, completeness, what we'll do is we'll just open one of those TCL files. And in fact, it is saying that uh, use this protocol. Uh, th we'll fix this for the other experience as well. In the MAC layer, this alone will keep changing. So 802.11 and uh, network interface, these are the two parameters that we should keep an eye on. So having said that, let's minimize this. Let's go back to our Ubuntu. Yes, we have Ubuntu in that background. And uh, what I'll do is, I'll remove all the data files. I'll clear all the data files, history ones. So I'll have to say remove dot star dot dat data files be careful when you use this remove command so if you say star dot remove star dot start by mistake it will remove all the files off from your directory will lose all of them so my suggestion is if you are comfortable with uh, this terminal only then use this remove command or else the best way will be to go to the file manager and then delete one by one or through the file manager that will be better good so we have this and then we are we are here dsr what I'll do is, uh, I will uh, open AODV. Yes, I'll use the AODV. Let's close off the DSR. And if we observe here, let me just uh, scroll to the top. And uh, we are already uh, using the look at the Mac. We are already using, we have done this experiment with Mac already. So, Mac parameters are set here already. And we are also fixed uh, now we want the routing protocol to be fixed to AODV so what we'll do is we'll just reuse this file and then uh, rename it accordingly so we are now into explain number 10 10 and 11 in fact this video will be doing a part of 10 and further we'll be doing uh, explain that are part of uh, 11 as well so anyway we'll name it as explain 10 and we are using Wi-Fi so it not two dot 11 so here again this should also be changed and we know that there are totally uh, four places where these file names will have to be changed and here's another place 10 802 dot 11 we are done we are done with three and then the last one will be in the the finish function let's get to the finish function yes yeah inside the finish yes here's the name so this is all this also needs to be changed 10 802.11 okay oh of course we should have saved this uh we should have saved it as oh i'm editing the wrong file so Anyway, let's uh, save, uh, do a save as now. I'll do a save as. And then I should have, uh, yeah, we'll rename it here. I'm saving it as 10, 802.11. And I'll save it. So I just, I don't want to overwrite the previous one so so that just in case we want to rerun that previous experiment we still have that file in intact and we have a new tcl file now which is using the mac layer as 802.11 remember we we had done this experiment before 
all I want uh, we are doing now is to for completeness sake I'm just renaming it and then we'll rerun it again where is okay so let's close this man we'll go here and we have deleted all the data files it's clear with data files and then ns experiment 10 run it we have the animation and uh, in fact there is no change here because we are using evo db we have seen this before i'll just fast forward it so we have all the communications happening we are focusing now on using wi-fi in this experiment in the mac layer that is 802.11 okay so next what we are supposed to do is we'll, we are supposed to change the mac layer to bluetooth and see the performance anyway we have finished this we'll close here and this also will close we come here we do a awk minus f and gat underscore wireless awk experiment 10 11 dot tr well so these are in, in sync with the the previous uh, i mean the time we got the previous time we got it for wi-fi it is 260 kilobits per second okay and then looking at the plots in the at throughput plot so we have the plot nothing new is same as the previous one and then gnu plot mg80 cw and this is this is how the window got uh, the congestion window the tcp was handling the congestion window in this way so we'll stop with this and in the next experiment what we'll do is we'll replace the mac layer with bluetooth that is 802.15.4 okay see you in the next video